Hey guys, today's episode is going to be focused on NFC and how you can use cheap little dollar uh, stickers uh, around your house or in your car to do all manner of cool home automation things. I'm going to walk you through three different uh, stickers that I have. Uh, one is in my car and that puts it into car mode. It starts Spotify to a specific playlist and then it uh, starts my logging my fuel levels. I have one inside the door uh, and then one outside the door. So I'll walk you through those three. Uh, as always, I'm going to walk you through a quick PowerPoint first uh, just to give you an idea of what you're about to take a look at. Then I'm going to walk you through the phone and then finally a real life example. First, let's take a look at the uh, actual stickers themselves. You'll see they're about the size of a U.S. quarter. Uh, they're stupendously thin. This is the indoor variety. This is an outdoor variety, so it's just a wee tiny bit thicker. And then this is one that goes on your keychain, uh, the little circle, and it is a little bit more durable themselves. Uh, you tap it, and then it'll pick up the tag. My car mode profile has three legs to it. NFC only uh, sets the first leg, which is set a variable to one by performing a task or task. Uh, I may not be ready to have this car mode start yet because I may still be positioning myself in the driveway back and out. So then I wait till I plug my car charger in, uh, which I actually usually do instantly. And even though my uh, phone is connected via Bluetooth to the stereo, I personally decided to wait till I plug the uh, headphone jack in. It gets better quality anyhow. Um, <clears throat> and then that, those will kick off this car mode on task. That car mode on task turns the Bluetooth on, turns the Wi-Fi off, turns up the volume. ECID is how I read SMS. That's an app. Uh, Launch Torque is uh, Torque is an, uh, an app to gather fuel levels off the OBD2 adapter. There's another video on that. And then I sp start Spotify up with a specific playlist. It's a fixed playlist. Uh, for those of you who know Tasker, uh, then I also, if any, either of these two are untrue, which is I either unplug the uh, power or the headphone cable, then it sets resets car place back to zero. Um, it turns off the caller ID speaking. It tells CQC my fuel level, and then it kills torque. Now let's go to the phone, and you'll see how this looks. So here's the phone screen. You see on the top left, Tasker and Trigger. That's what the apps uh, look like, pressing Trigger. Then here are the, uh, well, I only have four different uh, profiles right now. Um, so the, uh, uh, here's the Launch Nissan one, where all you do in Trigger is pick the task you want. It's pretty cool. It even lets you pick which task or task you want. And you go ahead and embed that, <clears throat> embed that into your chip. Uh, switching over to Tasker. Here's the profile it runs. In Nissan Dock, all it does is set car placed to 1. Um, coming over then to the profiles, uh, you'll see here it is right here. Um, I can't point on my phone. But um, var where car place equals to 1, power any, headset plugged any, run car mode on. Upon leaving, uh, turn car mode off. If you want to see what that looks like, here's all the stuff it does. Now let's show this in action. Okay, here we are in my car. I'm not normally in the passenger seat, but that's the only way I can get this angle to work here. Uh, you'll see here is my uh, phone dock. Uh, I got the NFC chip right there. So I plug it in. You hear the little ding go off, so I plug it in. I'm plugging the um, power connector to the bottom. Headphone jack's already plugged in. Um, and away it goes. Um, I, ha I have noticed that sometimes Spotify doesn't start, so. I just got to go ahead and oh click that button. And switching over to what I do when I first come home and then when I leave home, uh, I got a sticker right outside the door. So when I arrive home, I tap that. It basically tells CQC what to do. CQC turns on a couple of lights and uh, tells the Nest that I'm home. Um, I'm probably going to switch that to the ISY once I learn how that network module works. I've only had that for a week. Um, when I'm leaving the house, but I'm leaving the dog at home, I'm going to skip this first step for a second. CQC does handle this. Um, this, however, it'll also warn me if the doggy door is not open uh, or if the bathroom and bedroom uh, doors are open. It's dogs, you know. Uh, and then finally, it'll put Elk in arm stay mode. Now, if you haven't seen my other video, um, this is, I actually have a screen. This is my phone screen, um, but I don't use it that often where what I can do is I can control which lights I turn off and then which lights I want to leave on. Dog likes to have a couple of lights on, uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead and leave those things on for them. Uh, but other than that, um, everything else gets shut off. Let's see this in action. And here I am walking home. 
Uh, you'll see uh, there's the VR cop connected one switch and the living room lights are on the ISY. Here is the uh, NFC tag right there. Let's see how we go. You'll see the living room lights immediately come on while well, the VR cop will eventually come on. Hopefully I'm getting rid of that thing soon. And when I leave, I just tap the NFC tag that's right next to that door handle and off it goes. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ping me in the comments or in the uh, CQC forum link below.